What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Yaday Trooper 01 and we're gonna be doing the first ride in review. Before we get started on this video, if you guys do want to support the channel, there's a link down below for the Yaday Trooper 01 that gets you $100 off your purchase. If Yaday isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a quick overview right to the speed test, hill climbing, and terrain test. So let's get started in the overview. The Yaday Trooper retails for $21.99, but if you use code SHREDDY, you can get $200 off that order. The Yaday Trooper 01 is a cafe racer style electric bike. The frame is made out of 6061 aluminum. The motor is a 48 volt, 250 watt to 750 watt rear hub motor. The Trooper 01 motor has 75 newton meters of torque. The battery is a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. And up here we have an LCD display. And right over here we have a quarter twist thumb throttle. They claim a throttle range of 25 miles. They have a top speed of 20 miles an hour. That's because it comes locked. I'll show you guys at the end of the video how to unlock this bike. And right over here we have front and rear hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. And right back here we have a steel spring shock. The tires are a CST 20 by four. The weight of the bike with battery is 73 pounds. The max bike load is 331 pounds. And check out the front fork. It's an alloy suspension fork with 80 millimeters of travel, not adjustable. We also have plastic front and rear mud guards. We have a front headlight and a rear integrated taillight. And right up here, we have a moped style saddle. The bike is great for riders between five foot two and five foot nine. Just so you guys know, I'm five foot 11, 150 pounds. Check it out, also down here we have a plastic little carrier rack. This is also a single speed drive, there's no gears. And we also have 170 millimeter crank arms to make it easier to pedal when the bike is off. All right guys, we're on the streets. We're gonna start off with a full throttle speed test on high. So we do have three levels of pedal assist. One is eco, two is mid, and then three is high. All right guys, we're at a full charge. I'm 150 pounds, so let's get it full throttle. All right, so it's a very, very gradual takeoff. And just so you know, once you unlock the bike, their speedometer does not work at all. So you got to get yourself a little GPS speedo. 28, what? Wait a second, I thought we were only going to go 25. 29.2, 29.4, 29.5, can we hit 30? Can we hit 30? Yeah, that's not bad at all. Ooh, very nimble at high speeds. Very, very nice. Almost at 30, guys, almost at 30. There it goes, we hit 30. Quick brake check at 30 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my goodness. How about a 30 foot slide? So the top speed on there was 30.1 miles an hour on high. In all the different modes, you do have full throttle unlocked at all times. So we're gonna go into eco mode, pedal assist. Let's see what our top speed, and it looks like about two and a half turns of the pedal is when that pedal assist kicks in. Looks like our top speed's gonna be about 9.1 miles an hour. We're gonna slap it into mid now. Now we're in mid. And just so you guys know, this is a cadence sensor. So once you do start pedaling and it kicks in, it's gonna push you pretty fast. So here we go. There he goes. <laughs> I'm just ghost pedaling now. All right, top speed in mid was about 15.1 miles an hour. All right, guys, now we got it on high for the pedal assist. Let's see what the top speed is. My guess is, oh my God, my guess is gonna be like 30 miles an hour, same as full throttle. Wow, the takeoff is really, really good on this bike. Oh my God. And it is definitely really low compared to all my other moped style e-bikes. Yeah, it seems to be uh, about 28 miles an hour on the pedal assist, but once you hit the throttle, it actually boosts your speed up past that 28 miles an hour. That's pretty cool. When you are pedaling the bike, if you hang your heels a little bit, you do end up hitting that swing arm a little bit. See how close my foot is? I just noticed something. When you're sitting far forward on the seat like this, it's not as comfortable as sitting back here. It's actually more squishy back here, just all around more comfortable like a couch. If you do have a passenger on here, I think your passenger is gonna be a lot more comfortable than you are. The other thing I do like about having a long saddle seat like this is I can sit back like this and get more of an extension on my knees when I pedal the bike with it powered off. All right, guys, you see the train tracks in front of us. We're gonna do a little suspension test. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna brave it and sit down, but I'm gonna sit down in the very back part where it's a little soft. Oh my, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that rear is super duper stiff. Oh, and so is the front, and there's really no way to adjust 
the suspension on this bike. Oh man. I do this for you bike science guys. Oh my god. Just show you guys the suspension, show you guys how it handles on these <laughs> rocks. My biscuits, guys, my biscuits. I'm gonna catch this scooter duder. Right on. Electric winds. This one could go about 30. I'm doing a review on this right now. I was like, I'm gonna see if I can catch up. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a sand test. So supposedly this motor can push 75 newton meters of torque. So we're gonna see if we can make it from the deep to the pack stuff. And I don't know how we're gonna handle this deep stuff. It might not work out that well. It wants to push through but not too much and that's as far as we go i have 30 psi in here we're gonna take it down to like 11. it's a little more squishy now let's see if that helped out oh <laughs> yes it did <laughs> what <laughs> who would have thought this is awesome guys just so you know when you guys when you guys do ride on the beach or the sand like this make sure you wash your bike off with a little warm soapy water Get that salt off of it. Whoa, now we're gaining some speed. What the heck? All right, let's get back to the deep stuff. See if, uh... Oh, starting to bog. But we're going to hold on to it. See if we can keep it much longer. <laughs> yeah, having a squishier tire helps out like a million percent. Oh, yeah, we're bogging too much. Let's get back to the packed. Wondering if, if this bike will overheat. Maybe the motor or the controller will overheat before anything. But so far, it's actually handling pretty well. I should probably let air out of the front tire to make this a little more easy, but dude, this is so much fun. If you live by the beach, you got an e-bike and you haven't ridden a bike on the beach, you guys are definitely missing out through the deep, deep sand. Oh, oh, that was a freaking log. That was a log. <laughs> oh, downhill, let's do it. Yeah, that's right. All right, we got to put some air back in these tires. Here comes our next test. We're coming up to hill climb test hill, and we're going to hit the steepest part and see if we can make it up. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's hit the steepest part, which is going to be right here from a dead stop, and then we'll get a little lead start after this. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope. Let's see if the motor cuts off. It actually still holds you. Wow, that's kind of crazy. All right, there it goes. It took a little while for it to cut out. <laughs> Did you guys know we had cactuses in Delaware? Steepest part. Lead start. Oh, yeah, that was easy. We're going to try it with pedal assist, not as much of, of a lead start. And remember, it takes almost two pedals for it to kick in. So one, two, there it goes. <laughs> oh, God. Something's clanging around in those pedals. <laughs> You guys know every time we see this grass, we got to jump it. <laughs> oh, the suspension hurts. Hey guys, I'm 5'2". Let's see if this e-bike is good for short riders. That's crazy. Her feet actually are flat with this bike. Woo! It's fun. It does feel like a little moto. <laughs> okay, my heel just hit the bike. It's, it does feel like little. <laughs> like safe, like I'm low to the ground. Guys, drop a like for D trying out a moped style e-bikes for you guys. Thanks guys. Yo, Shorty, can you wheelie this bike? I actually just figured it out right now. I should swap the, the brake levers, but. Whoa, <laughs> almost, I almost ate it. <laughs> when in doubt guys, side saddle it out. So the front of the seat definitely hurts the biscuits after about 15 miles. This one's for the shred heads. <laughs> Let's hope this bike holds up. That was a good jump. So guys, definitely stay tuned. We're gonna be doing a full throttle range test on a Yaday Trooper very soon. And let me know what your thoughts are about the Yaday Trooper 01 down in the comments. And as always, if you guys do wanna support the channel, check out that link down below for the Yaday Trooper 01. Use code SHREDDY to get $200 off your order. If Yaday isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like.
As always, if you guys enjoy that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next trooper ride. This is how to unlock the bike. You hit these two buttons. You'll see the P settings pop up. Head over to P6, set that to 0, 2.5, and then head over to P8 and set that to 100. Mm -hmm.